Namaskar, my name is Gaurav Chauhan and I'm Ayush Ministry Certified Yoga Protocol Instructor. Today in our series of uh, exams or for children, this one is breathing practices, right? Uh, when exams come, children will come up with all sorts of problems and these will help them in whether it's asthma, whether it's anxiety, exam anxiety or depression, Right? All these breathings, these are very simple practices. Anybody can do it, but since it's for exams, so we are focusing on children today. Right? So let's quickly go ahead with the first practice. All right, the first practice is called hot air balloon. Right? As name suggests, it's for children. Again, anybody can do this. Sit in a, any meditative posture. I'm sitting in Padmasana. Taking your hands out, palms facing towards the sky. Loosen your arms. Now what we're going to do is breathe in and then breathe out a little. So starting from the side, breathing in and breathe out a little. And then let the hands go with the breath. Try the breathe in. Breathe in, breathe out. Last time, deep breath. And as you reach this point, just go right and left. Keep breathing. Right and left. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon and complete breath out. Drop your hands, palms facing up and relax. After hot air balloon, next practice is Vibhagya Pranayam, sectional breathing. We divide our breathing into three sections. There are three lobes of our lungs on one side and of course two on the other side because we have to uh, adjust the heart. So three lobes. Uh, Abdominal, thoracic and clavicular. So for abdominal, right hand on the tummy, keeping the back straight. As you breathe in, make your tummy big like a balloon and breathe out. Close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Like this, a round of 10. After abdominal, we move to thoracic breathing. So right hand will stay where it was on the tummy. Left hand will come to the middle of the chest. Now what is important that the when you breathe, chest will come out. So your left hand will come out, but the right hand will go in. So as you breathe in, chest out, tummy in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, a round of 10. 10 round of this. The third version or third vibhag is or the division is your collar, clavicular breathing. So taking the right hand on the left collar and left hand on the right, if possible, or just keep one hand, that's also fine. But I'm going to do it with both. Now, as you breathe in, lift your collars up. And as you breathe out, down, you can feel the collars, the shoulders breathing in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, again like this, a round of 10. Once we are done with Vibhag or all the divisions, the next one will be yogic breath. As name suggests, it's had yoga in it. So a yogi would breathe, how a yogi will breathe is abdominal, thoracic and collar together. So as you breathe in, you can use your hands, so palms facing downward. As you breathe in, tummy, chest, collar. And as you breathe out, collar, chest, and tummy. So wherever the hands are crossing, you breathe in, breathe in and breathe in, like that. So again, round of 10, breathing in, breathe out, as deep and as long as possible. Breathing in again, and breathe out. Once you've done a round of 10, palms facing up, roll your neck and relax here. 
Next practice, it's called equal breath, right? So for this, you breathe in. So I'm going to do it for count of five, but if you think count of three is comfortable for you, stick with that. So we're going to start. So I'm just keeping my hand up. You can do counting in your mind. So breathing in, one, Hold and breathe out like this again. A round of ten, and this will be so relaxing by the time you finish it. Next practice is Anulom Vilom, Nadi Shodhan Kriya, right? For that, we will start with Pranayam Mudra. So make a fist, thumb out, last two fingers out, other two at the base of the thumb. Nasika Gre Mudra, there are different names for the same practice. Now right thumb on the right nostril, shoulder and elbow relax, left hand Gyana Mudra, back straight, head back. Now as you breathe in from left, Close the left nostril, breathe out from right. Breathe in from right. And breathe out from left. A round of nine for this. What is important in Anulom Vilom that you make sure that there is no sound of your breath. So you concentrate on the fact that how the breath is touching the inner walls of your nostrils, going to the other side, same way. This is a very nice way to, of course, bring the concentration and relaxation together. And the last practice is called Brahmri. Brahmri can be done in many ways, but let's go with the basic way. So tongue to the palate. Teeth, keep some gap in your upper set of teeth from the lower set. And now we will, Brahmri is when we're going to make the nasal sound. Right? But when you, so we do the everything together. So tongue to the palate, gap in your teeth, Hato ki Gyan Mudra. As you breathe in. Round of five in Gyan Mudra. Another five. Now only the pointer finger. Now making the fist, just getting the pointer finger out. And now the little finger side is up, closing the little ear right there so that you can't hear anything from outside. And similarly, just breathe in. Mm. After the round of five, you bring your hands back, relax there and slowly open your eyes. Brahmri is a very good practice. Of course, it's very good for lung capacity, but at the same time, it works on your concentration and it also relaxes your body. Thank you so much. I hope you find these activities, these breathing practices helpful. And I'm sure this will, after doing this, this will make you feel relaxed. Looking forward to see you in the next episode. Dhanyavad.